The analog dials and manual controls in the Margaret's cockpit are from another era. But on this U.S. Navy craft, everything is state of the art. I'm getting ready for a once in a lifetime opportunity to take the controls of this U.S. Navy LCAC. First, a brief from Senior Chief Petty Officer Eric Crafton. He's an LCAC pilot who served in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Haiti. So what's it like to actually operate this thing? If you don't drive this craft, it's gonna drive you. Really? So every slope, the wind, the waves, everything is a factor. It certainly doesn't sound easy, but what better way to learn than from this elite U.S. Navy LCAP crew? It's safe to say I'm pretty excited. Oh, man. Oh, it's not every day you get to drive a $30 million hovercraft. Right now, the LCAC's floating on its hull. But as soon as I give the order... Engineer, bring us on cushion. All right, got you caught, bring on cushion. The lift fans kick in. The skirt inflates. And in less than five seconds, we're floating on a cushion of air. As the engines rev up, the 120-ton craft begins to glide forward. Seconds later, we're pushing 20 miles an hour. Then 30, 40. 50 miles an hour in a 120-ton craft, loaded with six Humvees and a dozen Marines. Incredible! Yeah! <laughs> oh, it feels amazing. <laughs> I am flying a hovercraft. This is at least three times faster than a conventional cargo boat. No cushion. No cushion. Got you, Con. Hope you enjoyed it. Wow. Yeah, that was awesome. As soon as we kill the fans, the skirt deflates and the LCAC lowers onto its watertight hull. I had four engines at 4,000 horsepower each and we were doing about 40 knots, which is probably around 50 miles an hour, and felt like we were just blinding on air. It was, it was amazing. 